Hi everybody, I'm back, and yeah, excuse the mess, I have a lot of reviews to do, so I'm going to try and do them in three parts. I have a home review from, where do we go, Pier 1, so let's get going with that. And then I have a Victoria's Secret and Sephora and yeah, just a bunch of others. So here's a VS. It is stuffed full with another free bag. Yeah, some makeup. But anyway, let's do the Pier 1. I have some Lush. Um, it is on the floor. It is crazy. Excuse my fingernails. I figured if I can't beat them, I might as well join them. So I went out. The I had some black. I have several containers of brand new nail polish these are tarte high-end and yeah zoya and the black that i had was not good it was a pop pop glam and it was all dried up so i had to go out and buy a new black i'm going to do my nails black because i'm painting black i might as well if i can't beat them i'll join them anyway <laughs> So I have three other boxes. I will go over those later, review those later. But so when we were at Pier 1, I saw this and I saw it in their catalog. It was beautiful. I'm going to put this above our mantle. It is so huge. I think it was $1.99. Um, and then, yeah, I'm wearing brand new pants. I thought these were really cute. These are um, camo. I've wanted a pair for a long time. I don't know. I don't know. So I can look like Duck Dynasty or I don't know who else wears. I saw somebody wear uh, some camo pants the other day and I thought they were really cute. A star on TV so and then I'm just wearing I will go out and shoot um, a picture in our full size mirror so yeah it's got little pockets on the sides and they're really cute in the back so yeah and then I just have a camo top and I threw my hair in a ponytail but Okay, so we got this. I'm going to put this on our mantle. Take everything down. Um, yesterday I had to go back to the store and get... I had to go back to Ace Hardware. I'm not going back there again, I don't think. Uh, four times because they had the black wrong. First I came home and it was navy blue. And then I came home and it was brown. Then I came home and it was the wrong... I don't even know what color I would call it. So finally the fourth time was a charm. So the kitchen is done. I put a picture on my Instagram. I will do a tour of our house. And then it was buy one gallon, get one free. Well, I don't really like the color on the other walls. It was supposed to be a light gray that goes with, that comes in most of the new homes. Well, it wasn't. So this is the color that I'm going to be putting in. Yeah, I got, it's Valspar paint, which is probably one of the best besides Bear. Now, it's going to be a lot lighter than that, but I've got a lot of painting to do. The bedroom's almost done. I have a couple more black stripes to do. Anyway, let's get going with the Pier 1. So this what is ginormous. Anthony could hardly fit this in his car. I think it was $1.99, and we got it at... Pier 1. Now the edges are coming off. Um, they have cardboard, but here's what it looks like. It is huge. It is ginormous. I'll have to show you. Yeah, it is huge. Once it's up on the mantle. Um, so I'm going to push this off to the side. The little cardboard things that come on the side. Let me move out of the way for a second. Um, came off and I don't want it to get broken so I'm going to set that over there for now she said something about oh my hip just popped that was very loud anyway she said something about um, mounting it I'm just going to lean it against and against the wall and pray that it doesn't fall <laughs> if it does it's going to be a big mess Okay, and then I got this from Pier 1. I thought it was beautiful. You guys saw the kitchen table. I will show you the rest. The other two kitchen pads that I got, I didn't review. Um, they were like striped, and they didn't fit on the chairs. Now, I'm going to paint our kitchen table. I was going to order one in like a light teal, but I decided to paint it and then stain the top a really kind of darker stain to get rid of that, like, kind of old-fashioned butcher block look. Anyway, so here is 
this is like a beautiful rose peony wreath that I'm going to put. I'm going to wire it up inside of that white square thing. Um, so yeah, I will do a vlog of that or a vlog, whatever, <laughs> um, a tour. So as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to have Anthony help me wire this up in the middle of that. I think it'll be beautiful. So it's not so plain, but yeah, it's just um, really, really pretty. It looks real. Um, they had all these Pier One. It has 20% off all their Easter stuff, but this doesn't look real Eastery. So I think I could get away with, and then it, using it all year, and then at Christmas time I could probably add some red ribbon or I don't know something. So let me get it back in the bag. And then I will show you without breaking it. Ooh. Okay. And then I have a ginormous lush haul coming. I cannot find that rollerball coming. That rollerball from Lush. Um, I got a catalog in the mail today. I'm going to look. I'll explain real quick. It's a bath bomb that um, is purple and it has pink that shoots out both ends and it rolls. Yeah, I've never seen a bath bomb like it before. I saw it look on YouTube. I saw it somewhere and it was crazy. And it just spun and spun and spun and it just it just seemed like it was never going to quit. But the colors were beautiful. So anyway, I'm still looking for that. And then... I took the other two seat covers because of my hip in the kitchen back. I turned the table at an angle. I will review that um, in a while. Oh, I forgot to get batteries. My camera's dying. Every time it seems like every time I use it, I have need. I need to get new cameras. I'm on the. I'm uploading, dear. I'm uploading, dear. Anyway, so then you tie this. Yeah, so I have four of these. Um, it's a light teal. They're beautiful. These were 30 and then they were 20% off, I think. So now I have four of them. Um, I don't know what I was thinking buying. I bought two of each and I was going to like alternate them, like one on each one, this one and then the striped on one side and, but it didn't work out. So these fit the chairs better. So, once it's painted, it will be painted this color. So it'll, I think it'll be beautiful. Now I got on a few, um, furniture websites, higher end, um, and I thought, why don't I just paint the table I have? And if it doesn't work out, we will just get a new table. So there is Pier One. Crazy. So, um, I've got a ton of lush down here. Um, yeah. And then I went and bought black nail polish. Can't beat them, join them. I bought black Essie. We will try this and see how it works. As you can see, I tried a little bit on my finger because when you're painting black, it's crazy. You, it's like you paint your nails. I took my acrylics off, but you paint your nails and you get one little spot of black on and you have to take them off, take it off. So we shall try. And then I'm going to do my favorites, and then I've got some stuff from Sephora, yes, yeah, I got, yeah, some pink eyeliner, I have a ton of MAC to review, crazy, um, so yeah, let me get this Pure One uploaded, um, and then I will be back, I will do the Victoria's Secret, which is loaded, there's a frag in there. Um, a free bag, another one. I need to do a giveaway. It is just getting crazy on the on the bags, just crazy. Um, got a new Lush catalog in the mail today. Um, tickled pink is being delivered, and then a few other things. That's the beautiful pink box with the big bow. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, because I can say I certainly haven't. The, Blogging doesn't bother me, just the painting is crazy. The bedroom is almost done. We I filled in the holes up where the, we took the curtains down, and yeah. So that was a mess, big time. I felt, I just thought, I was like, am I going to keep stuffing this in the hole? 
because we had to put one of those big um, supportive, you know, plastic, and the hole was just never going to end. I told Anthony, we we're going to have to just hope we miss this hole. And what I'm going to do is push the curtains further out so the windows look bigger if the rod fits. Otherwise, we need to get a bigger rod. Anyway, so the bedroom is looking beautiful. So now I'm working on the math, the guest bedroom. And then this one I'm going to repaint. I'm going, going to take do something different with the stripes. Clean this one up. I know it's teal, so I'm going to keep the teal stripes, but the gray one's got to go. Um, as you can see, I have some tape, yeah, where I stopped. <laughs> Um, two above, and I'm like, no. So, yeah, I've been having trouble for trying to find buffalo stripes. It's going to cost $600 for the peel-off. Is somebody at the door, babe? Anyway, sorry. Anyway, so I will get this uploaded. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. And I will get this Pottery Barn, or no, Pier 1, up on the mantle. I will review it or do an Instagram and then I will do a tour. I've got to get in the kitchen, do some more painting. I will come right back and do the VS. This is stuff. And then the makeup from Sephora. Yeah. So and then yeah, I got a bunch of ideas from a magazine on stuff to do for spring. It's crazy, but it will last all year. If you're wondering where I got these pants, I got them at Pennies. They are darling. I absolutely love them. I have wanted a pair of um, camels for a very, very, very long time. And I'm just wearing, you probably can't see the boots that I'm wearing. Um, I will have to Instagram these, but I'm just wearing these boots with them. And it's just a really cute outfit. I think it is. And then I just got a white t-shirt. You buy one, get one free. So you need to get down to pennies. And in the back, they just look like that. So they are really cute. Don't look at my... Here's my... It's healing up nicely. Yes. I don't like to call it a tramp stamp because it is not a tramp stamp. They called it... Was it a butt cap or a butt hat? I think they called it a butt hat. I'd rather call it that than a tramp stamp because, yeah. Anyway, so let me get this uploaded. I will be back in a minute with the VS and let you guys know. Um, I'll bring the paint in, the swatches. It is crazy. Kitchen's almost done. Right when I thought it was done, I looked above the the where that bar is, and I realized there was this much drywall between between the tile and the up, upper part of the bar so I had to tape it tape it off really good and do one strip of black and then I got to the end and I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna have to go down the wall so I'm like where do I stop I've got to stop somewhere or the whole kitchen the whole house is gonna be black <laughs> it's bad I mean but it looks great so yeah there's a couple spots that need to be touched up um, I started out with flat, ended up with satin, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but it doesn't look too bad. Anyway, and then I have these, I'm sorry I messed with these, these are from, v, this is Betsy Johnson I showed you guys, and this is from VS. Anyway, um, I have lights up above on the cabinets. I was up on one of the cabinets and I had all my kitchen dishes in and I heard it crack and I was standing on it. I only weigh about a buck ten, so I was thinking that with 110 pounds worth of dishes, the cabinet's going to go. And yeah, now there's like a little bit of light you can see through it. Not good. So I got down really quick. Our ladder is not tall enough because our cat, our Ceiling is so high. Anyway, before I talk your ear off, I will get this uploaded. I'll be back in a minute uh, with the VS. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And then I have lots more swatches. If they're going to give um, buy one, get one free, although it was 35 a gallon. And for a buy one, get one free, it was 75 or something. So I was thinking, it doesn't really sound free. But anyway, I won't say much. So yeah, this is going to be the color. And now, it looks very dark, but once you get it on the wall, 
I don't know what it's going to look like over that bluish, grayish nightmare out there. So, yeah, I want, I'm, I might have to go white and then just go over this. So we shall see. But I am going to be an excellent painter by the time it's over. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I will get this uploaded. Sub, sub, sub. Give me a few days to get subscribed back to you. I will. I promise. Um, I will leave you a quick note like I subbed you back just so you know what that means. And, um, yeah, so I'm working on it. I am working on it, working on it. So I lost a lot of subscribers. Somehow somebody's hacking into my channel and taking my subscribers. This is the second time it's happened. I don't know how. I honestly don't know how because there's no way that several thousand people could walk away in one night. There's no way. It's not possible. Anyway, so let me get this uploaded. I will see you in a minute. Thanks for watching. Love you all. And this will be, this will turn out beautiful. You need to get to Pottery Barn and buy this. It was marked at $199 and then, yeah, it went down to $99 and then I think it was, I think it was $99. So that's a pretty good price. That is a ginormous piece of art. Um, so yeah, it's, it will be beautiful, I think, with the, wreath wired in the middle of it so i will see you in a while thanks for watching love you all sub 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 and i will be back with the vs the sephora the clothing the other stuff so i will see you in a minute thanks for watching love you all if you have any questions comments ask me and i will get back to you thanks for watching bye